Hi everybody, how's it going? I hope every one of you are doing well. Um, I've got a short video today um, for this cell phone. <laughs> but it's a tool for me. I haven't bought this, uh, I have not bought this cell phone for using it as a cell phone. Um, the phone's model uh, and make is, it's a CAT phone. The model number is CAT S60. I purchased this uh, through Facebook Marketplace. A dude from uh, Pearl, uh, he sold it to me. It was a second-hand phone. And you can see he sold this phone, I believe, the reason for it, it has a crack on the screen. Um, this crack here, I don't know if you, the camera can show you guys. There you go. That mark, that's a crack. <clears throat> For this crack, this phone doesn't, I cannot swipe from this top part to down. So the notification, but I can. You can see, I can't, I can't pull the notification down. I don't know what, uh, I think some where this screen cracked, it cracked probably the, the touch uh, areas also. Um, the reason for me to buy this phone was, the main reason was one, this phone has a thermal camera. And this thermal camera is to show you uh, heat signature. Um, there you go. It's a thermal camera. It will be difficult to see in in my uh, overhead camera. Um, I'm going to demonstrate how this thing works. This thermal image camera uh, is very useful to find short circuit on a motherboard or any type of electrical circuit board. Um, I learned this from, from Mr. Alex from North Ridge Fix. Uh, he has a YouTube channel on it, uh, on, on YouTube. I also follow his channel. So he uses a professional camera that is about in South Africa 30 40,000 rand. And even though this cam this phone itself, if I wanted to buy a brand new one, I had to pay about 11 12,000 for this model. And the newer model is Cat S62. That will cost me about 14 15,000 rand. And that is a lot of money. So what I did, I searched on um, Facebook Marketplace to look for a second end and I find this one from someone from Pearl and the price matches 1.5. I can, I, I had that money. I bought it straight away. It took me a few days but to, to organize the pickup and stuff because I had to ask one of my friends to go and do the deal for me. But anyway, it is here. I will show you guys how this phone works and what is the benefit for that thermal camera on this phone. Okay guys, I've got a small uh, demonstration that I want to do for you guys. Uh, I've got an old motherboard. It's one of my old scrap that I have for a while now. I'm going to inject one volt with one amp from my power supply, the DC power supply, to this motherboard on this capacitor here. Uh, let me zoom it if you guys can see clearly. Right. You guys can see there is this capacitor here. On this cap, when I put one volt, uh, 
with one amp. This chip here, this is a chip. I don't know what chip is that. Uh, this chip, it gets hot. And I did check it with my, my flare cam, the thermal cam. I'm going to rather call it flare cam, I think. Thermal is too long. <laughs> so when I inject one volt with one amp here, this chip gets very hot quickly and i will show you guys when i put this phone onto that spot it's gonna show us a orange bright orange light um so that bright orange light uh it it means to us that that chip or that component is overheating or heating see so what happened let me rather show you guys first and then uh, I will explain to you all what does it means let's switch on the thermal camera and this is one bad things of this overhead camera of it's probably gonna be very difficult for you the camera to to capture the the whole things properly okay you can see there is everything is evenly uh, <clears throat> There's no hotspot that I can see or even camera don't show you any hotspot. Everything is cool here. Let's inject. Let's inject the volt voltage. Can you see? In the center, this is very bright and orangish. And I can't show you on the overhead camera, but I can tell you it's showing me 45, 46, 47, 48 degrees Celsius. If I release it, then the temperature that I can see in the screen is going down 27, 26, 25. It's cooling off. So from this, I can see, I can understand which component on this motherboard is getting heated so when there is a short uh, happens or if any component on this board or in any motherboard or any circuit board is shorted when we inject voltage certain amount of voltage with certain amount of current um, that shorted short, shorted component will overheat or heat um, and it's very easy for me or us to see which component exactly is getting overheated and then we can check that well it can be capacitor it can be MOSFET we can check it uh, that particular component that is showing us on the thermal cam that it's getting hot we can check it with the multimeter if there is a short or if that component is blown or something is wrong with that component now remember on on any motherboard there is lots of component if we have to check without this one there's other way that we can do using alcohol to see which component is evapor evaporating the the alcohol fast that's also a sign of short but this is very easy and not messy there you go let's try it again one more time there, 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 there. that orange spot let it cool off again so with this thermal camera this tool uh, i don't have to throw alcohol petrol anything on any circuit board i just find where is the problem or I, I just try to locate the area um, where the problem can be and then inject voltage there 
and then see which part gets hot see I, re I remove the probe it's cooling down when I put it connect or inject the volt it's getting hot there is the spot that chip is getting hot cooling down when I remove it when I inject getting hot cooling down when I remove come on let's do it one more last time on do it right let it cool a little bit 27 26 okay there you go bright bright orange spot It's also kind of fun to be. Now guess what? What is getting hot? As this chip over here. I was wrong, not this one. This one over here. When I press here, inject here voltage. This gets hot. So the <clears throat> fascinating thing about this phone or this camera is it would have cost me a lot of money, way a lot of money. I just paid only one thousand five. I would have spent 10, 15, 20,000. A proper camera, a camera, thermal camera is gonna cost me. Say the one that we get in South Africa, it goes from the cheapest I saw was 13,000 from Unit C. And from FLIR, their cheapest camera starts with 23,000 from this company. But anyway, let's uh, not worry about that. Um, I will only tell you guys one thing. If you guys have a passion, have a love for, for repairing electri electronical uh, repair things, uh, you want to do board repair and stuff, I will say, you don't have to buy a brand new one. If you can afford, buy a brand new one. Or buy a thermal cam the expensive one it doesn't matter if you can afford buy one of this device whether it's a cell phone with the thermal cam or a complete professional grade thermal cam buy one they are very cool tool very useful tool um, you will be amazed to use this thermal camera on board repair um and uh, if you don't if you can't afford expensive ones look for a second hand one can be camera can be the cell phone like this that has a thermal cam look for that buy one get one um you will never regret because this will pay you off the pride that you, you spend on it, the money that you spend on it, it's gonna pay it off. I'm telling you, it's gonna pay it off in no time. Um, every one of us has fancy phones and stuff, but a phone like this, you can, it looks like a brick, it's heavy. 
it's a water resistant and uh, rugged phone. Um, normally they made this phone for the guys who like to do hiking in the mountain and stuff, outing and stuff. You use this type. They want uh, those type of people to use this type of phone. But anyway, get one of this. The cheapest option is the second hand one, whether in South Africa or anywhere in the world. Look for a phone like this uh, in your local second hand market on the internet. You will never regret it. You will never regret it. Uh, anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you guys do enjoy the video, please do subscribe and uh, hit the like button. And one more request I have for all of you. Um, <clears throat> please watch the video that I make full. Uh, it helps me and um, I hope you guys learn something out of it. Um, I... Now most of the most of you might think this is a boring video or my videos are boring. It it is depends on um how much interest you have on board repairing. So still I'm requesting you all of you share my channels, my videos, info to your friends, family, your acquaintance, please. It will uh help my channel a lot help my channel remember i am new i want to grow it and i cannot do it alone i can only do it with all of you so please subscribe yourself and hit the like button and also share i will end this video now i hope you guys have an awesome weekend that is coming i will see you guys again on the next video goodbye